Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT, I'm going to tell you a quote that I saw. And I just want you to tell... I want you to tell me what this says to you when I tell you. Okay, okay, I'm ready. Confucius? Right. <clears throat> Winston Churchill? No. I don't know who it's, who it's by. Anonymous. Okay, all okay. right. No one is busier than someone who isn't interested in you. Wow. <laughs> Right? Yeah. Right? And that doesn't even mean, like, love interest either. Like, if you're trying to, like, if you have, like, a friend that yeah. they're not really, they don't think you're, like, and they must not hold value that much. Like, Yeah, because you can think of something to do to not hang out with somebody you don't want to hang out with. Ain't that the truth? Yeah, like, because wow. I think back to, like, just dating women or friends or whatever. Like, you, you so there's, true. there's so many people that you try to hang out with and date, and they'll be like, oh, I'm just so busy. But then they never offer, like, a counter. Like, oh, I'm so busy with this but I could hang out next week. That's usually what uh, people that are interested do. They're yeah. like, and like, it doesn't matter how busy you are. Like if, <laughs> if you want to see someone, you're, you'll sacrifice your own self time to at least like grab lunch with them. Go, yeah, go to dinner yeah, real quick. Yeah. Like go do anything. Yeah. 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 It's, it's amazing that like, yeah. but everyone holds on to that hope. Do, do you, does that, does that bother you at all? What does what bother? Which part? Uh, when people say they're busy and that uh, that they, I would much rather that they be honest and just say they're not interested. <laughs> I mean, but it, you you know what they mean when they say it. Yeah, but be be a woman, <laughs> be a man. Say <laughs> be a woman, be a man. Just say, hey, I'm not interested. Thanks. <laughs> I mean, like, why do you have to say like? I'm busy over and over again, hoping that they passive aggressively lose interest because you're never available. Uh, because like nobody wants to say that because then you're gonna look at that person like they're rude and like and, like like I said, it's kind of it's underlined. So you you know what they mean when they say it, though you may be in denial and just be like, oh, well, maybe yeah, they really well, are. No, busy. I think that's what it is. You have hope, right? You're like, oh, yeah. maybe the artist's really busy and they do want to hang out. Like, yeah, and they're, it might, they're it, not making time for you. They they don't want to hang out. Exactly. With you. So I think that the, the truth of the matter is is that we need to realize that there's a lot of social cues that not necessarily are just stated on the forefront and we have to understand is that look all right if they don't want to hang out that's perfectly fine you need to we need to learn to accept that in ourselves and just move on well i think the really other thing okay. that people need to recognize is to not chase and yeah. that's essentially chasing Eh, I mean, but a lot of times chasing is the way, like, see, and I can't, I can't say, I don't know for sure, but a lot of people that I know that are in relationships, they say that they had to chase their significant other to a certain extent. Well, you have to chase some. Yeah, and, and women, how do, how do we put this, Jonas? Don't say we behind anything that comes do, out do, of your <laughs> mouth about women, how okay? Do we say how do, how we do say you this? say what you how need to say? say it's so funny, because it's like, you ever see the meme where there's like the girl sitting at the desk in the office and then one guy comes in and he says, like, hey, I'll see you at lunch later. And she says, okay, can't wait to go to lunch with you. And it's that same picture of her sitting at the desk. And then another guy who's, like, kind of overweight and he has glasses. He's like, hey, I'll see you at lunch. And she's like, HR, I need to talk. It's kind of it's kind of like I've that. never seen that meme, by the way, so anyway. It's, it's like the idea of, like, if a handsome guy is chasing you, women want that. But if a guy that they're not interested in is chasing them, then it is... So it's harassment, right? 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 No, no, I feel you. And, so and women goes, yeah, want goes, to be chased, but only I mean, by guys somebody. want to be chased too. Oh, dude, I want to be. I wish. Yeah, I, I wish, wish I had numerous women that I wasn't interested chasing me. I mean, look, I'm not gonna sit up here and say I didn't have. A, I had a. I had a fun childhood and a good. My 20s were amazing. My 30s were great, and we ain't going any further than that. As far as you need to know, I'm 30. All right, so you are 30. But, yes, and they're still great. I'm still living life. So I've, I've been there. I've been on that side of, of winning, you know? Being chased is cool, but, you know, it does... I, I can understand why women have a uh, a stigma attached to it yeah. as well. Because no, 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 it can I, be I problematic. It. I, I get it. Well, it, but I but I need to say, like, with, with this... So, like, okay, so, like, there's obviously anyone who's tried to date, especially in the online dating world, right? You've been ghosted. You you thought a date went really well. They've even told you it went really well, and then you've just never heard from them again. You know, because everyone's just being nice, right? Sure. The girls I respect more than anything are the ones that were like, "Hey, I enjoyed hanging out. I'm just not feeling it." Yeah. Thanks. Like, 
I I agree is that that's probably the best recourse because it it eliminates any obfuscation, uh, at least on the behalf of the person who may be more interested than the other. Um, Yeah, it gives you closure, man. And then you can like, it's like, because what happens is it's you, you start thinking to yourself, are they just busy? (laughs) <laughs> and they're interested or are they not interested? And then, so then you'll be like, Hey, do you want to hang out? Oh no, I'm busy. And you're like, Oh, you must be really busy. Okay. Or they could just say, Hey, I'm not interested. Yeah. yeah and, yeah, yeah. and then you stop bothering them. Like, you're just like, Hey, you know, cause like there, I, I've, I've also had people that they are like, they give you a heads up, like, hey, I'm not really that great at texting. I have a bad time. You know, I feel guilty that I don't reply to people. Yeah. And then, but I've also said to them, hey, I've messaged you a couple times. You're not responding. I feel like I'm bothering you, but you have also told me that you are bad at texting. Yes. And, and, and then, and, and that's like, I guess, I get that. I guess that's you speaking your need, right? And then they, and then they go, I've had them go, no, I, it's totally cool. If it, if I, if it was bothering me, I would absolutely let me know. I'm so, so I feel guilty that I'm not responding, but like, whatever. Yeah. But you can never judge if a person's that upfront with their emotions or their feelings initially. You can't. Right. It, it takes time to get to that point, but it's like, um, but yeah, and I guess that's the subtle way is just telling someone you're too busy. So you can't tell if they're just being subtle about not wanting to hang out with you or if they're just honestly having an issue. And I mean, and honestly, that's that's kind of the dilemma with the way that humans communicate anyway. I mean, look, speaking to each other is, is great, but, but it would be better if we could just read minds, right? Wouldn't it be yeah, way better yeah. if I could just read minds, Jonas? Exactly, exactly. So we have to pick up on social cues and body language <laughs> and everything, and, and, and not everybody has the ability to even read into that. Yeah, so. but uh, well, exactly. Well, also the thing that I'm I'm kind of learning uh, as I get older is Uh-oh. if if you need to know the answer to something, just ask. Because the worst thing that can happen is you don't get the answer that you want like for in that same exact situation like where that person like has told you up front that they're terrible at texting being like please don't take it personal like you know whatever and you message them and you're like hey i feel like i'm bothering you because you haven't responded to my messages but i know you gave me that heads up they can they, they can then choose to reply ignore it which basically answers your question yeah they can or they can get back to you and be like I'm sorry, it isn't bothering me, you know, please, you know, I, I do want to talk to you, but then, but then you have to at some point decide, like, if they're not, resp- if they're that bad at responding, is that okay with you, right? Like, you yeah, know, like, yeah. they can like you all day, but if they aren't giving you what you need, like, a response <laughs> to your message, like, is that okay? Are, are you just chasing it's, indefinitely at that point, and, right? And see, I'm, I'm definitely one of those people that has a hard time getting back to people, so I, I understand it. I get it 100%. So let me ask you this. What? So so you're, uh, you start seeing a girl. Yeah. You, do you give her a heads up? You're bad at responding. I don't know. Okay. But so has that come back to bite you where yes. they – where they come back and tell you, but do they explode at you? Like, fine, then I see how it is. Or do they just lose interest or how does that affect you? Uh, yeah, they tend to just lose interest and you know, that's, that's fine. That's, you know, I, I guess I kind of, you know, you whatever. accept that because you know that that's your fault because you're not being as responsive as like you may. Uh, uh, not to their, not to their needs, I guess, not to their, uh, their desires and yeah it's fine with me but i'm well I'm let me different. ask you this then what? what if like you're what if a girl mess- said to you hey you're not getting back to me i feel like i'm bothering you would you literally tell her you're not i'm just bad at texting or would you go ew emotions like how yeah, dare okay. you say that so or- here's the thing is that even if you say that they'll be like uh well i don't i've had this happen a hundred times where i've had like a girl who i've met at the gym and she's like oh i texted you and text me back i'm like look man my mom texted me four days ago and i just texted her back today so if my mom is getting that type from me and i love her with all of my heart look lady i don't know who the hell you think you are but you're not, you're not my mama so sorry you're just gonna have to deal with it to a certain extent well right but like but if like you're genuinely interested in them do you hear that differently like say you've hung out with her a couple times and she's just like hey i haven't heard back from you i feel like i'm bothering you not like it's different if they come to you and they say hey why aren't you getting back to me that's like more insecurity yeah. the other side of it is like hey 
I'm cool with whatever you're doing. It just feels like I'm bothering you. Am I bothering no, you? No, no, it's not. Yeah, I don't know. Like I said, it's like, what, what can you say to a person when it's like, is it's it's definitely just a part of my mentality, Jonas, where I'm not good at texting people back. Right, and I don't blame anyone for not texting people back. Like it right. is, you are who you are, right? Whether it's whether it's you don't think about it, whether it's you don't care to text, whether you hate text, whatever the whatever the reason is, right? Yeah. That is that is the reality of the situation. So someone who wants to date you has to realize this is a part of me Ugh. and you have to accept it. Yeah. But or the not. other side of it is if they if they come to you with a need like hey, at what point is it I like them enough to try harder or Hey, I hear you. I'm sorry. Or, or it, it, when they come to you and say that, does it make you go bye? No, man. I'm never gonna say bye because I'm not the one with the problem. It's not like I'm gonna be like, oh, you have an issue. I'm just, you know, I apologize, and then it's like, look, this is me. And if you can't accept it, then yeah, I guess. Would you try harder for someone you were actually interested in? I'm actually interested in my mom. <laughs> not, no, not in that way. <laughs> no, I know not in that way. But I'm just, just curious. Saying, just curious, because I know you are a person who doesn't like texting. It's right? it's not like I have control over it. It's not like it's not like like a like a voluntary thing. It's just like I'll see the message pop up, and then I'll be like, uh, I'll get to that in a second, and then I don't get to it in a second. <laughs> Got okay. Instead, I get to it in like a day and a half once I have like. Dude. So it isn't a cognitive like I'm not going to reply to this person. It's a I'm busy at the moment, and then forget about it. Or I, a I, I feel I, like this has turned into a therapy session, guys. <laughs> <laughs> curious, dude. Sorry. That's right. Anyways, that's all the time we have for this episode. Go to thecuriousnow.com for Jonas. TNT. Oh, yeah.